everyday life. From the significant to the petty. Time now for Christy Gustafson Barletti on 1077 GNA. Here she is. Christy Guns and Stuff Barletti. Times Union, timesunion.com. So right now, between movies, television, and TV shows, right, like people are talking about Jeopardy. They're talking about Avengers Endgame. They're talking about Game of Thrones. Yeah. If you're not into those, you're kind of an outcast right now. And maybe you have to pretend to get into it or suffer the consequences, right. whatever those may be. <laughs> or maybe shamed into it. <laughs> are, are people shamed into watching these shows, you think, Christy? Oh, I think they absolutely are. People, Because you want to, you know, everyone wants to feel like you're part of a community. And you want to have commonalities. You want to have things to talk with your friends, your coworkers, your family about. And then, or you just think, well, if everyone likes this, why wouldn't I like it? So I might as well give it a try. And then you go and watch it, and you either get sucked in or you're disappointed, and then you start complaining about them on social media. Cause this is why <laughs> yeah. I waste that time. And a lot of your readers admitted that they've been, they, they, they've been shamed because they haven't watched these certain shows. It was a pretty overwhelming response, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think about um, 55, 60% said they had been shamed into watching something and didn't really want any part of it. Or someone's, or excuse me, either shamed into watching it or shamed because they chose not to. Because like, they hey. chose not to, yeah. Oh, yeah. So people gave them a hard time and criticized them, almost like peer pressure for TV. Yep, and there is pressure, you know, and there is because you, you want to you wanna be a part of the conversation. Sure. Like when people are talking about it, when things become things, you want to know what's going on. Some people are into it. Some people don't care. Have you ever, Christy, been pressured into watching something that you didn't want to watch? I was just going to say you two, all three of you actually, but I think Jess was a little less guilty. Are guilty of shaming me into what watching something. What did we something. do? What was that? Years ago, you didn't like that I didn't watch Making a Murder. I think that might have been two years ago. Yeah. Okay. And I thought, well, okay. Everyone's talking about it. I've now been publicly shamed on air. <laughs> I might as well give it a try. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't realize we did that. I watched it for maybe 12 minutes, and I was not at all interested. What? I didn't wow. get sucked in. I was like, I'm going back to Gilmore Girls. Oh my God! Awesome too. Christy, you should have thanked us for <laughs> right. for trying to get because you the know, music alone oh yeah. was sucking I in. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get into it. Like, first of all, you only gave it twelve minutes. I think that you gave it like basically the opening credits. And well, then... his mom was making soup with <laughs> a boot, <laughs> and I, I don't think you gave it enough time. Yeah. <laughs> you never found that in, interesting or compelling, huh? I did not. And then the other day, I was getting my hair cut, and my hairdresser, who I've known for a while, I'm friends with her. She said to me. So are you watching, you're watching Game of Thrones, right? And I was like, I looked at her in the mirror and I said, no, I'm not. And she just looked at me with like a sad look, a disappointed look. And we just sort of sat there silently for about 30 <laughs> seconds thinking, okay, what are we going to talk? And we have lots to talk about. We talk the whole time, every time. But it was that little moment of, so I tried to see if she would, if, if she wants live PD. She doesn't. So both of us were disappointed and shaming each other. All right. You're a live PD I can't fan. possibly cut your hair, Christy. I know. Please Oops, leave. There goes, yes. I've, I don't watch. Out of my chair, we're done. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I kind of wish I did a little bit, you know, because everybody's talking about it and stuff. Um, I think this happened to my sister. She texted me a photograph or like a like a, a picture of her sitting in her living room getting ready to start watching all 100 episodes or whatever wow. of Game of Thrones. This was last night. What? Do you think she was shamed into it? I, I, I think Sherry, I don't I don't know that she would say that she was shamed, but I think indirectly when everybody's talking about something. She's thinking she's missing out. Yeah, right. I feel like she has like fear of missing out, you know, so uh, I don't know. Are you watching Jeopardy, Christy? So I'm not watching Jeopardy, but I'm so obsessed with what's going on with Jeopardy that every night is about... 8.01, when it's off the air, I scan Twitter to find out, did James make it another day? Did he make it another day? I want to know how he's doing, but I don't want to actually watch him do it. You don't want to watch him. <laughs> yeah. I don't no. like his face. I don't like it. I know oh, you don't so like the good. face. You I'm don't like him. I'm bored with him. Yeah, I'm done. I just, I, I'm very curious to see how he's doing. I know I'm rooting for him, which I'm sorry, because I feel like that means I'm rooting against you. No, you're not. Here, oh, first no, of all, it's totally fine. Chrissy and Jess. I still have my show. <laughs> Chrissy and Jess are clearly in the the minority here, and they they don't like this guy. They don't find him interesting. They're sick of his act. By by night three, they were done with him. And the re the reason why they say it, it's twofold, because we're regular Jeopardy watchers, and he's ruining their supper apparently. And the other right. thing is, Christy, they don't like his face. No, Shame on you for shaming arrogant. his face. Because he's, like he's arrogant. It's the way he his face goes when he's arrogant. I think he's arrogant. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Yep. And I'm done. And he is ruining my supper. It's more of my <laughs> rice pudding dessert. But he's God, still ruining it. it. Well, Teacher Week is coming up with a local teacher, so then he'll be oh. off at least temporarily until that all comes back if he keeps hanging on. All right, Christy, thank you. Have a good weekend. We'll talk yes, to you next week. All right, thank you.